So I found a binder in my parents' storage shed, and it had my old uh, Beckett back issues, and we're going to go through that today. Um, I had purchased a bunch of Beckett back issues 20 years ago. We're going to go through... The Frank Thomas issue today. I haven't looked at this so in 20 years, so we'll take a look at it together. This is from October of 1991, issue number 79 of the Beckett baseball card monthly and I really I really like this photo and then it's got the 91 Opeachy Premier Frank Thomas which I have a complete set and I will do be doing a video on that as well but today we're going to go through the Beckett magazine 1991 on the back Dave Winfield, and he was in an Angels uniform. Okay. So there's an ad for 91 Studio. Those cards were pretty nice. I do have this. I got the David Justice. Yeah, those are nice cards. And um, we're just going to go through it together and, and look at this. So we've got Jose Canseco in here, Hank Aaron, the all-time home run king card. I have recently uh, seen that card on a few videos. I had not remembered it, but that's a card I would like to get someday. So, frankly, he's hot. And so, in this issue, 1991, Frank Thomas was very hot. And everybody wanted his cards. Um, I, I had quite a few Frank Thomas and Ken Griffey Jr. Um, cards. And luckily, of all the people that came out of that group of people, and there's a lot of home run hitters, Frank Thomas and Ken Griffey Jr. went to the Hall of Fame. They had great careers. So those were two to collect as a kid. Joe and Ted's Excellent Season. Looks like a good article about Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams. The old play ball cards I used to find interesting. Classic. I used to get a bunch of uh, minor league cards, classic cards, and it's like, I don't know if I should have not have did that, but trying to get the, uh, the prospects before they become major league hitters or pitchers. We got a 52 mantle. We got a Kevin Moss right next to it. We got Roger Maris here chasing 61. Well, Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris, they were very, uh, they've always been interesting to the hobby, but especially 91. Um, that was very, um, the vintage, those were the players, those Yankees, especially Mantle. 
We've got Ron Gant and John Smoltz. John Smoltz is in the Hall of Fame. Tom Glavin, he's in the Hall of Fame. Terry Peddleton, Steve Avery, the Braves. All those Braves players were very popular in 91. Front row, more prospect cards. So now we get into the price guide section. And they started out, and I didn't really understand this. Beckett always started out in 1948. Instead of going to T206, and, and even before that there were cards, but T206 was very, very popular long, long before 1991. And they don't even, they don't even have those listed. Don't really understand that. So here's the hot list. I used to really like the hot list. Number one. Frank Thomas, number two, Ken Griffey Jr., number three, Nolan Ryan, number four, Cal Ripken Jr. So those top four, those are pretty good. Uh, they they did well, those those players. Dave Justice, Juan Gonzalez, Scott Erickson, number seven. Again, now we're getting the people that didn't do as well. Ricky Henderson, yes. 91 Stadium Club, 90 Leaf, Will Clark. 91 Michael Jordan, Tony Gwynn. Cecil Fielder, Ryan Sandberg, Todd Van Poppel, number 16, is hot. He, he actually dropped from number 12. Tom Glavin, number 19, number 20, Kevin Moss, dropped from number 7. Dave Henderson, Daryl Strawberry, Roger Clemens, Jose Canseco, Mo Vaughn, Mark Lewis. I actually don't even know who Mark Lewis is. 91, Fleer Ultra, Okay. Don Mattingly, Bo Jackson, and Albert Bell. So who was cold? Jose Canseco, Pete Rose, Bo Jackson. So you can be on the hot and cold list. Jerome Walton, who I don't even know who that is. Oral Hershiser, Don Mattingly, Sports Flicks. Mark McGuire, Todd Zeal, and Eric Anthony. The hot list was always very, uh, very um, important to me. I always look at that a lot. All right, and going back into the price guide. So, what do we got here for Stan Musial, 48 rookie card. Let's see how much that is. $775. Of course, the Yogi Berra, $475. So, cards were worth something, even in 1991. They're worth something. Not as much as they are today. So, in 48, 49, leave. Babe Ruth is worth $2,100, which is, you know, a lot. Now it's worth a lot more than that. But still, cards were worth quite a bit of money even in those days. Let's see what the 52, or let's go with the 51 Bowman complete set for $17,500. That's a complete set. So let's go look at the mantle. And Mickey Mantle, six thousand dollars. Mickey Mantle rookie card, nineteen ninety one, six thousand. And that's the Bowman. Now let's look at the uh, fifty two tops complete set. You can get for fifty thousand dollars complete set. And let's look for the mantle. Mickey Mantle. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand, Mickey Mantle. That's nineteen ninety one, twenty thousand dollars. Huh. And of course we got fifty four tops, all these. Well let's see what a Hank Aaron rookie card. Hank Aaron, one thousand five hundred for Hank Aaron rookie card. Well, let's see here. Let's go through these and get to how about a Nolan Ryan rookie card, sixty-eight. Must have went past it here. Here we go. Nolan Ryan, number one seventy-seven, one thousand four hundred. For the 68 tops, Nolan Ryan. 
All right, 71 tops. You can get the set for $2,000, about $2,000. Of course, uh, it's a very hard set in top condition. 75 tops. What do we got for Robin Yount and George Brett? We're both equal. They were equal. $175. And that's for, uh, you know, a higher condition card. But still, they were worth something in 1991. Complete set is 750 for the 75 tops. Another one is uh, Ozzy Smith rookie card, $55. What do we got here for? Ricky Henderson? No. That's an 81 top. Let's go. Let's see if we can find a Ricky Henderson rookie card. Ricky Henderson 80 tops. $175. Went down. Huh. 82 tops. Cal Ripken. $50. Now. Let's get into some junk wax here. Let's go to a, an 87. Here we go. Well, the Will Clark rookie, 32 bucks, and that's an 87 Fleer. Um, 87 tops. Barry Bonds. Ah, it's only worth 225. So that makes sense. We'll go back to 86, Jose Canseco, 86 Donruss, $90. And, of course, the Mark McGuire, $15, went down. This was before he hit 70 home runs and all that, but still, 1991, Roger Clemens rookie card, $20. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's move ahead and see what we got for the modern at the time. Modern. Ken Griffey Jr. $50. That is his 89 upper deck. 90 leaf. Let's go to... Ken Griffey's worth twenty two fifty and a ninety leaf. What was Frank Thomas at? Frank Thomas. Oh yeah, maybe he's in series two. Yeah, series two, number three hundred fifty dollars. Ninety tops. Juan Gonzalez two dollars. Frank Thomas three fifty. Okay, number what, 91. So this is a 91, and um, we'll go into 91 Fleer Ultra. $45 to set. I had the update set, but they don't even have that yet listed. Uh, okay, 91 Opeachy Premier, $55 at the time. Ken Griffey was worth $8. David Justice, $6. Frank Thomas, $15. $15. So, this card right here in 1991, $15. This is a second year card, $15. I will show you that set. Um, but that's crazy. All those cards were worth quite a bit like a roger clemens a dollar will clark a dollar fifty jose canseco a dollar seventy five albert bell a dollar so modern tops 91 tops let's see if they have 
they don't have, oh wait. Yeah, they don't have the um, Desert Storm cards not listed or anything like that. 91 Stadium Club, $150. That was a very, very popular set. Frank Thomas, $25. Hmm. So, yeah. So, that was the modern. And then, uh, 91, yeah. So, I used to like the fun cards. I would make my own fun cards, too. Just kind of like they did. And, uh, that had, as a kid, it was fun. You cut out your cards and, you know, modify them. Make kind of a cartoon character or something. That was always fun. So how to use your Beckett Price Guide. Of course, another fun card. Oh, so they would tell what a mint card is. A mint card definition as opposed to these other ones. And you would go through and grade your own cards. And there's ads. I'm trying to see if there's a Burbank. There should be. A lot of these companies that were advertising they may be out of business by now, but I think there's probably Burbank in here somewhere. Advertising shows and things like that. calendar so these were all card shows and there's lots of them this was 91 so card shows were very popular back then wally joiner and here we go on steve avery was popular back then rookie cards alphabetical baseball rookie index huh so they would list all the rookie cards for different people, like Satchel Page, 48 Leaf, or 49 Bowman. Huh. So all the different players, they would list their, their rookie cards. So you can go find their rookie cards. You know what rookie card they have and go find it. That's interesting. Jeff Bagwell. Of course, I have that card. Uh Got that cart right here. So. Blast from the past. Got Babe Ruth. Orange Spawn. Oh, okay. Here is the dealer directory. Different dealers. I used to look up some of these dealers that were look kind of close by. And if I went on a vacation, try to visit something as a kid, try to tell my parents, hey, we go here. Oh, Harold Reynolds. He's he's in the you know he's on TV or something. I've seen him around. Kirby Puckett. Of course, I have Kirby's rookie here. Carlton Fisk. Oh, no. Okay. Here's the back issues. Now, these are what I would, I would order some of these back issues. And that's what I have this binder of. And at the time, you can get them pretty cheap, actually. So, I got, I got that one. I don't know why. I guess I was going for Kevin Seitzer. I'm not sure why I was doing that, but I have that one. I've got a couple of these. We'll go through. I got the Robin Yount. And... I've got this one, the Ken Griffey Jr. So we'll be going through some of these. That's what I. That's what this binder is. I've got some back issues. So they're brand new magazines. I did have a bunch of other ones too, but the the back issues are the ones that I kept in the binder, and we'll go through those. They always had a lot of great articles. Here's Eddie Murphy, or Eddie Murray, not Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murray, Ricky Card. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. Had a lot of articles that are really fascinating. 
Hot Corner, George Brett. He must have been approaching 3,000 hits. Ryan Sandberg, Cecil Fielder was very popular in 91. They always had some artwork, some beautiful artwork. This one has got Nolan Ryan and Ricky Henderson. And, of course, on the back, Dave Winfield. Well, thanks for watching. We'll go through another Beckett magazine in the next upcoming episodes. Thank you.